हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर्स एनाटॉमी सो टुडे वी हैव विद अस अ किडनी एंड वी आर पर्टिकुलरली फोकसिंग ऑन टू द स्ट्रक्चर्स दैट इज लाइंग इनसाइड द किडनी सो बेसिकली वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन टू द फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ द किडनी एज यू ऑल नो किडनी इज एन एक्सक्रेटरी ऑर्गन विच इज रिमेन इन अ पैर इन ह्यूमन बॉडी सो बेसिकली यू कैन कंसिडर द किडनी अंडर द urinary system organ the we are not focusing on to the external features right now we are just focusing on to the structures that is lying inside the kidney so internal structures of the kidney are the outermost layer that will be known as an cortex the inner part that will known as an renal medulla then you will have a renal papillae then you will have the minor calyx then you will have the major calyx then you will have the renal pelvis and the ultimate end will be the ureter so we are going to see each and every structure one by one so internal structures of the kidney for visualization of the internal structures of the kidney we need to take the cross section of the kidney so right now we have with us the cross section of the kidney the outer most layer of the kidney that you can see on this uh, this part this this outer most layer is known as an renal capsule which generally protects the kidney from the external infections uh, to the this internal functional unit of the kidney the inner functional unit of the kidney can be divided into two parts for the descriptive purpose that will be the outermost part that will be known as an cortex and then the another part uh, that is uh, more towards the inner side that will be known as an renal medulla so first let us see what is uh, what which structure is known as an cortex so if you can focusing on uh, this uh, this specimen you can find out there is a uh, a small area is present after this uh, renal capsule and uh, this whitish structures that is a uh, generally known as an pyramid so the area that is lying in between this two that is renal cortex uh, uh, sorry the capsule renal capsule and the pyramid that is known as an renal cortex so generally the nephron the if you know the parts of the nephron there will be the glomerulus then you will have a baumann capsule then you will have a proximal proximal convoluted tubules then you will have a loop of henle that can be further divided loop of henle can be further divided into three parts that is the descending part then the loop of henle and then the ascending part then the distal convoluted tubule and the collecting duct so if you are going to see the cortex area the nephron the particular part of the nephron that will be the glomerulus and the that will lie into the cortex area of this kidney if you are going to see the other parts of the nephron that will be lying with the renal pyramid okay so that is about the cortex then the second part that you are going to see is the this pyramid shaped structures if you can see let me bring it more close to you you can see this pyramid shaped structure is there this pyramid shaped structure is there okay so that is known as an renal pyramid okay collecting tubules actually lies in this uh, pyramid okay between the two renal pyramids if you can see so see this is the one territory of one renal pyramid then you will have uh, this second renal pyramid there is a potential area is present between these two renal pyramid okay that pyramid is known as a uh, that structure is known as an renal column it is a nothing but the medullary extension of the renal cortex between the renal pyramid so basically what they want to say that uh, it is this cortex area which is extended between two renal pyramids okay that extension is known as an renal column so uh, after the renal column uh, you will have the renal pyramids if you can see this renal pyramids again let me bring a close close to you uh, this is the renal pyramid if you can see when it is coming onto the uh, its uh, downward part it is getting a constricted part of this renal pyramid that is known as an renal 
papillae. Okay, so from this renal papillae, the pyramids will communicating with this uh, structure. Okay, you can see some structures that is lying over here. Okay, so that structure is known as and this structure is known as a minor calyx. Okay, so there is a the tube-like structure that is present at the end of the renal pyramid or you can say the renal papilla that structure is known as an minor calyx okay after the minor calyx you can see this uh, minor calyx okay it, it is opening up opening into the more wider area more wider tubules that more wider tubules is known as an major calyx okay so now you will have the minor calyx then you will have the major calyx this major calyx which is open up into this most widest structure in this internal structure of the kidney this is known as an renal pelvis so now you can see the pathway of the urine that it is getting filtrate from this uh, cortex area it will come into the renal pyramid then it will filtrate through the renal papilla into the minor calyx then it will goes into the major calyx this major calyx will open up into the renal pyramids and then this renal pyramids through uh, sorry the then the renal pelvis through that renal pelvis it will travel into the ureters so that is the internal structures of the kidney the most apart from the internal structures uh, there is uh, another one term that I need to explain that it is known as in the hilum of the kidney if you can see there is a uh, two structures that is visible the another one is uh, I guess already cut it down while uh, abstracting this specimen so you can see that there is a renal pelvis along with this ureter is there then you will have this uh, tube like structure that is known as an renal artery okay the third structure that will present over here that will be the renal so these are the structures of the hilum of the kidney. Thank you.